Uh, Brilliant, Craig, welcome to Mix 96. Thank you. Um, It's however many weeks away we are from the Olympics, not basically not far. Um, How are you feeling at this moment in time? Um, Kind of a weird feeling, really. I don't want to rush it too soon, but I I can't wait for it. It's kind of trying to juggle those emotions, but just knowing that we're, we're only... 46 days away, I think, is, is pretty exciting and I, I can't wait to get in and swim in front of everyone. Has this been something you've always aimed for? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a dream since I was um, since I was a little kid and I was I was training when I was 10 and our coach pulled us out of the pool and, and got everyone together and uh, got us to write down what we wanted to be when we were older and I was the only one who put down Olympics, so it's been a dream ever since I can remember and been the reason why I've got up at five o'clock in the morning and why I've trained as hard as I have. What does it um, mean for you for the Olympics to be in, in your home country? It's huge. Um, just having the home support, having the fact that my family can all come pretty easily, like it's in half an hour on the train down into London. Um, they can all get tickets and, and just to be able to have local people coming up to me and saying, we can't wait to watch you, we're, we're all behind you, we're rooting for you. And, and to have businesses like Budgeons of Bedgrove coming to me and saying, we want to get behind you, we want to support you up until the Olympics, is, is just really the boost that is, is needed. And I think the fact it's in a home country is going to be the difference between between third and fourths and, and f- those first places that we all want to see. And does it mean, you know, you live in Aylesbury, does it mean a lot for your, for your hometown to support you, just the people in it? Absolutely. The the more support and the more the more people behind me, that's what that's what drives me forward. And, and to have people come in and, and patting you on the back and saying you're doing a great job is is the support that I need really to to get me through these days where I'm training really hard and I'm tired. And the last thing I want to do is to go back to the pool and have to train us really hard again. So it's kind of that that motivation, that extra kick that is needed to to be a, a high level athlete. For those of us who sort of roll into work about nine o'clock and sit in an office all day, what what is your daily routine? How much training do you do? Uh, I do about five hours a day. Um, it's two hours in the pool in the morning, then I, I go back and I'll have something to eat, probably have a little sleep, then go to the gym in the afternoon and lift some weights around, throw them around, um, or ch- attempt to. Um, then go back, have something to eat again, have a sleep, and uh, go back to the pool for two hours in the evening. Sounds like the exact opposite of my day. Um, <laughs> What, uh, what's the, how do you deal with the expectation from, because there's always expectation going for any athlete going to the Olympics. When it's here, there must be loads. How do you deal with it? Uh, I think you just have to take it with a pinch of salt, really. For, for me, the, my, my goal was to make the Olympics. And, and as long as I can go to Olympics and, and come away knowing I've given everything I could possibly give, that's my best performance I've ever done in my career. Um, then I'll be happy, and, and whatever comes from that, whether it's a semi-final, or final, or a medal, um, that's the sort of thing you enjoy afterwards, and, and you look back. But as long as you can say to yourself that you've done the best you can possibly do, you can't be upset with yourself. Well, good luck from everyone at Mix Ninety Six, and probably I think I can say good luck from everyone in the Aylesbury Vale. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.